What's going on, you guys? Ethan's Mystical Child here, coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well. And when you see this reading, hopefully you are in good spirits. This reading is being filmed on the night of the full moon. So, I hope that you guys are dealing with this energy in a healthy way. Because it's in Virgo season and it's an eclipse. So, it's going to be a lot of impulsive energies. But the eclipse is all about... The harvest um, full moon and this eclipse is about appreciation. It's about um, blessings. It's about abundance. It's also about closure. So, in lieu of that, today's title is, Why do you make... No, not why do you make... Why are people afraid of you? So, take what apply. Leave the rest. Tom Sam Quinn be in the description box and message box. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. We have three pals here. So you have pal number one, pal number two, and pal number three. So pick your pal, and I will see you in pal one. Pal one, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you. When you see this reading, hopefully it's useful to you. The title today is, Why Do You Scare People? Or, How Do You Scare People? Hold on for a second. The title is, Why Are People Scared of You? I word it, whatever way I word it, it's going to be the same thing. It's like, how you scare people, why people are scared of you, whatever. So, take what apply, leave the rest. Time stamp is going to be in the description box, message box. Why I say that, I don't know, because I said that in the intro. But if you're a subscriber, what's up? What's popping with you guys? Hope all is well. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, let's get to the reading. I have doors. I didn't tell you to pick doors this time. I picked doors myself. So, if you like this door, this is a message for you. But these messages is for anybody who picked power one. But I will show you the door. So, if you like the door, maybe the message will connect with you even more so. One second. So the message is a cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. With this message, why are people afraid of you? You are somebody who lives in the moment. You are somebody who do not go along with cultural beliefs. For some of you guys, some of you guys cannot be programmed. You are somebody that's a fool. You're adventurous. You're somebody who believes in yourself. Most people who are afraid of you with this energy is because they don't believe in themselves. These are people who have been doctrinated or people who have been programmed to think a certain way. You think outside the box. You focus on yourself. You don't look out for um, validation from outside of yourself. And you choose to live boldly. So this is a... a, a a statement that you purposely make. Not like you purposely make it, but you just naturally live that way. So that makes people scared of you because you're a wild card, basically. If you pick this door, never received this card before for any reading. So it says Jude's Song. A reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest places. Why are people afraid of you? Because you have you have a spirit that can't be shaken. You have a, a, a warrior spirit. A, a spirit that's going to continue to move on, push forward no matter what. You are somebody who have like a gypsy spirit. You venture out. You are very adventurous. You are very advantageous as well. If you're a female, you're very virtuous. You can find pay, you can find peace in places where people can't find peace. Some of you are introverts. You like being by yourself. Some of you, you are your own best friend. Some of you are popular loners. But you don't need people to make you happy. You make yourself happy. You bet on yourself. That makes people afraid of you. Because again, people nowadays go along with the latest fashions or the latest fads or 
people clout chase. It doesn't. It seems like you guys aren't clout chasers. If you pick this door, some of you guys could be uh, a Buddha religion. It says offerings. Abundance lies in a heart that allows. Share more than expected and see love come around. You are a person that look out for people. Some of you guys could be philanthropists. You know that abundance doesn't lie within material goods or following the Joneses. You know that abundance lie within your heart. And depending on what type of heart you ha have, you could be somebody that's homeless and have a great heart. You are abundant in life. So this is why people are afraid of you. You go, you be, you walk an uncharted path. Some of you guys are visionaries. You could be an Aries. It's like you give love without expecting anything back. Nowadays, people give to get. You're not that type of person. So why you scare people with these three messages coming along is that you are somebody that some of you, not all of you, could be too good to be true. So a person think that it's like a, a setup or it's like a trap when you come around. Move into the next portion of why people are afraid of you. You have backstab here. You have running. And then you have boss daddy. And then you have romantic love affair. So what I get from this is... People who have backstabbed you in a romantic relationship or if somebody was deceptive to you or love bombed you or try to play mind games with you in a love relationship, why are they scared of you? Because one, you have a lot of options, right? So you will wonder why would a person be scared for a person who have a lot of options? A person that has a big dick ego or somebody that's like a boss daddy, this is a person who have a, a huge ego. This is somebody who runs off of validation. You're somebody that I don't run after validation. Again, some of you guys could be warrior spirits. Some of you could be good in archery. Some of you could have red hair. The reason why you make particularly a boss daddy or a female, could be a female or a male, scared in relationships is because you somebody, once they backtrack, once they backstab you, if this re resonate with you, anytime a person backstab you, they are wondering how you're going to respond to them. What is going to come behind this betrayal? So some of you guys will make some nervousness once they backstab you, you keep moving on. You don't care. You'll go find another relationship. You'll go find somebody who's going to be a good partner to you. Somebody that's going to be happy-go-lucky. Somebody that's not going to be uptight. Somebody that doesn't run on their ego. Somebody who is not a person that is manipulative. You can expose this person. But some of you choose to just move on, but they don't know if you're going to move on or not. So some of you could have been in a relationship with somebody that was a secret love affair, whether you knew it or not. But once it was all said and done, you probably realized the person had somebody else. This person is nervous because you can expose them. You have secrets about them. You have things that can ruin their reputation. This makes them scared. Very afraid of you. Because now the ball is in your court. Now with the backstab, we'll clarify the backstab is stalemate and avoidant. So again, if you're in a relationship with somebody and they play mind games, love bomb, you try to disappear on you, try to ghost you or be avoidant. These people know that you are spiritual for some of you guys. And if you resonate with this, they know that they're, they're going to have to deal with this one way or another. Your spirit guides will go behind the scenes and start making their life are living hell for some of them. For some of them, they have lost relationships dealing with you. For some of you guys, you have exposed them and they are scared of this. 
what clarified the running is self-worth and masculine energy. So you guys know your self-worth and you expect to be treated in a certain way. What afraid what's what scares people like this? These some of these people are not used to dealing with people who have self-worth. They don't even have self-worth. So some of you, when it comes to your relationships, you don't get lost in the fog or you're not a pick pick Misha. So or a pick me. Some of you come across very grounded and very when I say grounded, you are this energy that comes across very stable. Now you see how I use the boss daddy in two different ways. You take your energy and you're very logical. You're very assertive. You protect yourself. You're not a controlling person. This person that I was explaining earlier could be somebody controlling, somebody that's wounded. You know their wounds. You know exactly why they behave the way they behave. You know that they don't have any self-worth. You notice this person is hiding a lot of trauma in their life. And you can expose this again. So this makes them very, very afraid. But this person walks around like they have a lot of confidence in themselves, Like they self-assured, but they really not. You could bring this to a crashing halt. Now we'll clarify the boss daddy. We'll clarify this energy. Is chemistry, passion, communication, and leap so you're not scared to leap take a leap of faith on yourself you're not scared to leave one relationship and move to another relationship you don't have a lot of ego some of these um individuals and relationships try to trap people you cannot be trapped you see how it says chemistry and passion and it has communication some of you will walk away from a person if a person is not communicating with you properly or if they're not somebody who want to invest in you, you will walk away from them. And you will take a leap of faith on yourself. Some of you guys don't know what you're going to get, but you're still going to take a leap of faith on yourself. Some of these people are scared to bank on themselves. They're scared to be, what would I say, adventurous. So you scared some of these people because, again, if you resonate with this energy in your pal, you are somebody who cannot be held down. You are somebody who will always bank on yourself and believe in yourself. This is what it seems like. Another thing that uh, scares people about you or they're afraid about you, your energy is like soulmate energy. So some of you have a very type of, how can I say, you could be a Scorpio, you could be a Sagittarius, you could be a Taurus. You have that type of energy that pull people in. You could be a siren. You have a soulmate energy. So people who are already in romantic relationships are afraid for their man or their woman to be around you because they know that you can take that you could take their partner if you want to take their partner. They see that their partner like to talk to you. Some of them they see that their partner want to travel to you. Or they want to leave their partner to come to you. This makes them afraid. Somebody here could be a Virgo or somebody here could be a Gemini. You're a person that is a full energy. A full energy always makes people nervous because you're very optimistic. You're very adventurous. Again, you always have new beginnings. You don't let anybody hold you back. Now, if you were with somebody in this romantic love affair, what made them nervous about you is because you are somebody... That has an energy to you that would renew a person. So if a person is feeling trapped, a person don't want you around their partner because you will renew them. You will heal them. You would make them see that, oh, the partner that I have is not really good for me. You are somebody that's ideal. So again, they feel like you would take their partner. You are somebody that's a healer. You're very emotional. You tapped in with your emotions. You're very mature when it comes to your emotions. Some of you could be a Scorpio. you somebody who have a solid foundation and you want commitment. Again, you could take somebody's partner from them. And people will see you, again, with that soulmate energy. If you have that soulmate energy and you know you have that soulmate energy, 
People want to leave their happy home and, and start a solid foundation with you. And when I went in parentheses, their home is not too happy because if somebody have a happy home, they're not going to be looking to form a, um, a, a foundation with somebody else. You, you guys, whether you're a female or male, you are somebody that's very grounded. You are very independent. You are somebody that's abundant. You're somebody that can build a happy home. You are somebody who can love somebody. You are somebody as well that always have opportunities. So people get nervous and they're afraid to get in a relationship with you because some of them, again, they think it's too good to be true. And they think that you're going to leave them for somebody better than them. These people seem like they have insecurity issues. Clarify this big dick energy, this boss daddy. Why would this boss daddy be afraid of power? they afraid of your confidence. Your queen of pentacles and the three of cups, they scared of your confidence. And then down here came the devil. Yeah, you're very stable. you very happy-go-lucky. You could party with people with any walks of the world. You are very... How can I say? Some of you could be social butterflies. You could be a popular loner and a social butterfly. But with the three of cups, you are a good friend. You are somebody that support people. You are somebody that's always growing. You always overcoming um, obstacles as well. With the queen of pentacles, again, you're very grounded. You're very stable. And you care about your stability. You don't play about your stability. So if somebody's codependent, and want to come to you and be in a relationship with you, this is going to scare them because you are somebody that is very independent. You're not a codependent energy. Clarify this devil, three of cups and queen of pentacles. Why people are afraid of power one? You're the divine feminine. I was going to say the empress, but I didn't say it because I was going to say you are the best thing since sliced bread. But again, when I say that, everybody's not an empress. So when you say that, you know, you have to be careful when you say that. Why you scare people is because when they do you wrong, say for instance they did um, play mind games with you and cheated on you or love bomb you, they want to return back to you. You're not a person that really gives people second chances. You're not somebody that will make amends and let them back in to start their bullshit again. Why? Because you are the empress. You're somebody grounded. You're somebody stable. You are the best thing since sliced bread. You are somebody abundant, somebody nurturing, somebody caring. You are all queens in one. So a lot of people nowadays can't deal with a divine feminine because they haven't healed a lot of their traumas and they don't stand in their power. You stand in your power. People who are particularly in relationships, they're scared that you're going to take their partner. They're scared that, and some of them are scared that they want to, they'll fall in love with you, but you become non-committal. You don't want to commit to them. Some of you are real sirens. You have that siren energy be water signs you shock a lot of people you bring unexpected turmoil in people life like tower moments you will rip the rug right from underneath them so if they feel like you getting over on them if they feel like they getting over on you they're not and they'll realize that some of them they you have them and um and and the um shit why well, i just got tongue twisted some of these people are suffering they feel like they've been betrayed they they have this victim mentality they have this what was me? Another thing that scare you last message is scare people about you. You let go to pass easy. You will walk away easy. These people hold on to things. These people are traumatized. They're scared to let go of things. You don't let nobody control you. You don't let nobody use control and tactics with you. These people cannot, cannot um, find a weakness with you. And these people are very weak. These people who are very like, Insecure with these control tactics. These people could be people that you deal with that have mood swings. They have trust issues. They are very conflicted. They self-sabotage themselves and they betray a lot of people. So you basically in the upright. When I say you in the upright, you're not in the shadow. These people live in the shadow. You don't live in the shadow and they know that you are the light. So you will expose them. So this is why they are afraid of you. You have their secrets for some of them. You can expose them. These people can't hold you back. They can't trap you. They can't use anything to trap you because you have healed. 
your trauma. Most of you guys have healed your trauma. And you will walk away. You're very spiritual and you don't have time for the bullshit. So if you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Till next time in Tarot Land. How to, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully when you see this reading, it's useful to you. And you in good spirit. Shout out to my subscribers. You know, oh, what's popping with you? If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Today's title is Why They Afraid of You. Take what apply, leave the rest. And let's get right to it. So, why are these people scared of you? Or why are you scared of people? You scare people because you are out of their league. They want to be with you, but you are out of their league. They have um, a champagne. No, you have like... They think you're very bougie. I'm going to just say it like that. These people think you're bougie and they want to get with you, but they can't get with you. They feel like you're out of their league. They feel if you if they offer you a love offer, that you're not going to take it. You're going to look at them that like they're not good enough. These people are intimidated by your wealth. They're intimidated by your emotional intelligence. Everybody want to date you. You have a lot of opportunities, a lot of offers. You could be a Libra or a Taurus. You put death to anybody playing with you when it comes to a relationship. You're not going to deal with nobody who's basically dead inside. You want somebody who have healed themselves, somebody who could show up in a healthy way. Somebody could be a Scorpio here. You don't have time for that. Some of you could be in relationships with people who are toxic with this dangerous combo. You trigger people. You trigger people dark side. You make them look within themselves. You give them the dark night of the shadow, dark night of the soul. Sorry for that. You make people tap into their traumas, and you make them tap into their conscious mind. Somebody could be a Scorpio here, a Pisces, or a Cancer, and particularly a Pisces. But this renewal will spark. You are somebody that's always renewing yourself. You always somebody that's moving and new opportunities. You always want new things around you, new abundant things around you. You don't want anything to stale around you, anything that's going to hold you back, anything that's not growing, that's death. You don't want it. You don't want it around you. People are afraid of you as well because they know your, your, um, your sex is transformative or being around you is transformative. You will make a person have new beliefs. What clarified the deadly combo is the page of wands and the five of swords you are very confident in yourself you are very and you will kill somebody ego as well this is why they're afraid of you they know if they come to you with this ego with nothing but passion and everything you're not going for it you're going to knock them down every time if somebody's sly and cunning and try to manipulate their way into a relationship you're not going for that you're going to trigger their ass immediately because you're going to let them know that no this is not what's going to happen or some of you could be this way could be like toxic a little bit because everybody have a demon. They have a demon side. But the importance is, is not to let your demon time get ahead of you. You have that reeled in. If somebody came to you and wanted just to have a sex relationship with you, looking at their, e um, their ego, because somebody, the penis is an ego. They looking at their ego. Why are they scared of you? Because you are tapped in. Your, your third eye is open. Your chakras are open. And you're going to leave them with pain. They're going to be left heartbroken while you delve into, and it's the Ace of Cups. I mean, not the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords is here. And then you have the Five of Swords. So you'll walk away from their ass. You'll leave them stuck in their trauma. You'll leave them stuck in their tangled web. And this frightens them. You see how it was with the Two of Cups? You are soulmate energy. But some of them, they come to you and they try to make deals with you. This, this doesn't bide well with you or bode well with you. You are somebody who don't sell yourself. Some of these people that you're around like to buy sex or they like to buy relationships or they like to get in relationships where it's like a, a, a business deal, not a partnership. And you're not going for that. You can see right through that with this ace of swords. You have clarity when it comes to relationships. You have you somebody that brings truth. You have mental clarity. You get breakthroughs. You are a person that's very spiritual as well. Whether you outright spiritual or not, you're very spiritual. These individuals know that your guides help you as well. Clarify this Ace of Swords. Somebody could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you have the strong in your chart. 
Clarify Tangled Web and this Two of Cups. Why are people afraid? Eight of Cups. You'll listen to your guides. You'll listen to your gatekeepers. You'll listen to your intuition and move on from a relationship. You're not going for a relationship that's a business deal. A person can't get you in a relationship that's a business deal. You are a person that, um, how can I say? You are somebody that challenge people's societal norms because you're not that type of person. You're a free thinker. Whoa. The Ace of Wands came out again. The Ace of Wands came out with the, the Chariot in reverse and with the, the Page of Swords in reverse. So, what make people nervous about you? Again, with this Ace of Swords, you're somebody that's very confident. You're somebody that looks at people who's presenting you their wand, who's presenting you a relationship, who you thinking about being passionate with. With your chariot in reverse, people realize that you can see through them if they have lack of focus or if they go on the wrong way or they're trying to get in a relationship with you and it's not going to be beneficial. they scared of it because they see that you see through them. Like they have no discipline. Some of these people could be very reckless. They could be very inconsiderate. With the page of swords in reverse, this is somebody very immature, somebody that gossips, somebody that runs very toxic. They just very toxic. This is somebody that is like a, a silver tongue devil. They gossip, they lie, they spread rumors, they do all of this. These are these people that are scared of you because they're very immature, extremely immature. Last message is clarify this page of swords and this um Whoa. Hold on for a second. The Five of Wands came out. So this page of swords, you're not dealing with nobody immature who's going to compete with you, who's going to bring confrontation with you, somebody who's going to try to block you, try to block your brand new beginnings, try to block whatever you're building. You're not going for that. You're somebody who knows how to balance your personal life and your um and your home life, like your um business life and your home life. You know how to juggle things. You know how to balance things. And this um makes people afraid. These people are very... And mature and very codependent, it seems like, in this pile. So I'm going off the pile number three. If you have gotten something from this, like and subscribe. Till next time in Tarotland. Pile number three, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully when you see this reading, it's useful to you and you're in good spirits. The title today is Why Are People Afraid of You? What's popping to my subscribers? If you're a visitor, welcome. Return of visitors, welcome back. This page of swords in reverse came out in pile number two. Go over there. Because it came out in reverse here. And I wasn't even looking for a card. It just flew out. Like, okay. So, let's see. Why are um, why are people afraid of you? People are afraid of you because we have the dark night of the soul. We have I'm secretly committed. Just being near you is intoxicating. So, somebody here could be a Scorpio. Um, somebody, okay, so somebody could be a Scorpio. So, why people are afraid of you? With the Dark Knight of the Soul, what clarified that is the rose-colored glasses. People who bring, try to bring confusion to you in relationships, you're not going for that. Somebody could be a Pisces, or you could be dealing with a Pisces. People who are codependent and like to blur boundaries and, and, and act like they immature and they have no boundaries and being very deceptive, you, um... You scare these people because you 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 are the light. You don't you don't play any games with them. You're not letting nobody play in your face. If a person is vengeful, hateful, with a dark soul, you're gonna explode expose their ass. What this rejection and projection? These people. It seems like you're dealing with distorted people. This came out in power one. It's like you're dealing with distorted masculines who who try to come across mechanical and cold hearted. And like I'm um, very destructive and manipulative and self um sabotaging, very toxic individuals. You're not going for that because you're logical, you protect yourself, you're very assertive. People who try to control you, you're not going for that. You rip the mask right off of them. People try to look at you in a distorted way, but again, you're not going for that. With this harvest energy, people don't don't like really like coming around you because again, they know you see through their ignorance and their arrogance. This person could be very prideful. The people that you deal with could be very prideful. They could be a Leo, Aquarius, or, I mean, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. The set, uh, Aquarius could be there. But people like to bring confusion to you, and you're not playing with that. You're not going through with the uncertainty and 
being unclear when it comes to romantic relationships, you're not going for that. You are very charming and very graceful. You're kind-hearted as well. So this scares people. And this kind of reminds me of what I was saying from pile number one. Like you like come across like too good to be true. People who are want to get with you, it's like some of you guys realize that they're committed or they're scared of you finding out they're committed because some of them, you could have been with somebody that was hiding a child in a relationship, hiding a child, but you're going to expose their ass. Again, you're not going to let nobody play in your face. This all, um, harvest in autumn came here when I looked up, it was 30-30. We under a full moon right now, and it's the harvest moon. So they're scared of you because you clear out clutter. You you don't have time for the bullshit. You, you are very intentional. You somebody who want to grow. You don't want to be somebody stuck and stagnated, somebody that's immature. It says if you still care about what people think, grow up because we're grown over here emotionally, mentally, and um, you don't let emotionally immature people around you. You don't want nobody in your face that love bomb you. If they try to love bomb you, you'll say it right out your, out they, out your mouth. You'll, you'll reveal them. You'll shed the light on them like you know what you're doing. I know what you're doing and stop playing the games. This is basically because it says love bombing me doesn't work on me. Don't waste your time. They know they can't come play in your face. That makes them nervous because people nowadays like to play in people's face. They know they can't go around you. They have to come straight to you. It says, I refuse to change because I'm afraid of the unknown, so I stay stuck in my comfort zone. So people who are stuck in a comfort zone, stuck in a comfort zone, and a toxicity, people who are not emotionally open or available and closed off, they scared of you because you don't have time for that. You make people move. Are we going to do this or are we not going to do it? It seems like you guys in this pal is very mature. It says, I'm living a lie and I'm not strong enough to change this issue. So you dealing with people who are in a hamster wheel, a.k.a. the comic wheel, try to put you on a comic wheel and you expose their ass and walked away from them for some of you. It says, if you ghost me, please remain dead because that's what ghosts do. I'm not chasing an immature person. Some of them could have ghosted you. And this is why they, Sila, hold on. These extra messages jumped out. It's um. It says, just being near you is intoxicating. So... You, you have this um, energy about you that just turn people on. You could be, um, a, people feel like you are their soulmate. It says, hurt people hurt people. It says, you killed my ego. I've never been here before. So you guys walking around killing pe people egos, and I love it. Yeah, because the ego is never good. All that pride and ignorance and arrogance. No, we're going to shoot that right out the sky. Another uh, card came out. I stay guarded with you and I regret it. My soul yearns for you. So you scare people because you make people feel something that they've never felt before. These people seem like they traumatized or they scared to love. They've never been loved or the people they love hurt them or neglect them. And you are the real deal. And look, it says narcissistic people. So you're around a, a lot of narcissistic people. Three, um, 3303 was just on here. So if you're interested, look at those um, angel numbers. But yeah, you're the real deal. And you make you know your, your worth. You're very charming. You're very loving. And you're not going for nothing that's less than that. So you make people like see how immature.